Hello friends, we're up to tarot reading number 73. This one is eight steps to overcoming an intimidating individual or organism. This spread is for when you're feeling overwhelmed. When it feels like you have enemies on all sides and you don't know who you can turn to for help. This might be because of something in your personal life or it could be because of something at work. We're going to demonstrate this spread using the Modern Spellcaster's Tarot. It's one of my older decks. I've owned it for, oh, at this point, close to six years. We're gonna get right into it. So first things first. This spread only wants us to use the Minor Arcana, Ace through 10 and the court cards. Because in this scenario, we are dealing with mortal forces. We are dealing with other human beings. We're not as concerned about the universal forces that influence our lives at this moment. We're more concerned about the people in our lives. Card number one is who or what is intimidating me. If it's a who, it's who is the person. If it's a what, it's most likely an organization. Card number two. What is their motive? Why are they doing this to me? Card number three, what evidence do I have to support my side of the scenario? Card number four, who can I rely on? Who can I expect to support me? Card number five, should I walk away or should I keep fighting? Card number six, what is the weakness or the flaw that I can exploit in the person or organization that is intimidating me. Card number seven, what positive publicity or inspiration can I put out there to strengthen my cause? And card number eight, what is the ideal outcome? So we're gonna shuffle up the minor arcana, I've already separated them out, and see what the modern spellcaster's tarot has to tell us. So we're going to make, to the best of my ability, an octagonal spread here. So one in the center, one slightly up. Okay, there are our eight cards not quite going to be possible to get an octagon and keep them all in view, but that is, yeah, that's, that's got them. Okay. Okay. So card number one, who is out to get you? Who is causing this intimidation? We have the five of cups upright. Five of Cups is about regret. It is about weighing the opportunities of the present versus what has been lost in the past. If we examine this image, we see that there are three cups spilled at the figure's feet, but they still have two cups remaining in their hands. They're not out of options. But you can also see that they are staring at what's on the ground, what is unrecoverable. This leads me to believe that whoever is out to get you, whoever is being intimidating in this scenario, is someone from your past. Someone who you used to have a friendly relationship with, but no longer do. Card number two, what is their motive? We have the three of wands reversed. They want whatever they view as your current success to fail. Sounds like it's someone you outgrew, who is now jealous that you have continued growing that you've continued bettering yourself and they're upset about it. Card number three, what evidence do you have on your side? We have the Six of Swords reversed. The Six of Swords is about burdens. It's about trying to carry too much. Being reversed, you have let go of those things. This other person hasn't. They are still trying to drag you back into that past conflict. You don't have to let them. You can just continue sailing on 
having dumped all those extra swords overboard. You don't need to continue a fight that you have already left. Card number four, who will support you? We have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a man who is in control of his emotions. This does not mean he represses them. This means he processes them. Like the picture, it is probably someone who is older than you, potentially a mentor at work, a spiritual advisor, someone who knows both parties, who in the moment didn't take sides because he knew he didn't have all the information. So he waited. There is now more information. Don't be afraid to go to this mentor figure for help. Card number five. Can and should you walk away from the conflict? We have the Queen of Cups upright. Interesting to see that we have both the King and the Queen of Cups side by side in this reading. In this case, the Queen of Cups is you. A person who is in control of their emotions, a bit more on the feminine energy side, who understands the importance of their internal peace. You can see that she is sitting comfortably on her throne, with her feet just barely dipped into the calm waters in front of her, where behind her are large waterfalls. She has turned her back on the loudness. She has turned her back on the tumult of the conflicts, and she trusts herself. Those who are peaceful are allowed in her presence. Sometimes you have to fight for peace, but in this scenario, you can let the person remain in your past. Let them just be the noisy waterfall behind you. Card number six. What is the weakness or flaw of the person who's intimidating you? We have the Nine of Pentacles upright. The Nine of Pentacles is an interesting card because on the surface, it looks like everything's going well. There's a beautiful garden, a person who has all of what they need, but that's only the surface. They are not satisfied with what they have. There is an illusion of success. They have the the outward signs, but inwardly, they're not content. They're not happy. Their weakness is that they are presenting an outward image that does not match their internal self. They are lying to themselves and to everyone around them. As you focus on being the Queen of Cups, on being that person at peace with yourself, it will only become more apparent the illusions that they have wrapped themselves in. Card seven, what public publicity can you put forth to strengthen your case? So we have the Nine of Swords reversed. The Nine of Swords depicts a figure kneeling in the snow crying with a pile of swords encircled by candles. They are holding vigil. What you can bring forward in this moment is the same things that you brought forward in the past. You held true to yourself. You made choices to have a better life. Let the fruits of your labor be the proof. And just do it quietly. You don't have to be loud or ostentatious about it. Just quietly go about doing good, and your works will speak for themselves. Card number eight, what is the ideal outcome? We have the Page of Cups upright. The Page of Cups is a person who is full of inspiration, of vitality. They are creative. They are full of love. They drink deep of their relationships. And it is not just frivolity. It is joy. The ideal outcome is that in addition to being a person who has mastered their emotions, you allow yourself to partake of these positive aspects of emotion, that you can enjoy the companionship of your friends, of music, poetry, the arts, whichever kind that you enjoy. So some closing thoughts on this spread. We ended up with four cards out of the suit of cups. That is half of this reading. 
two of swords, one of wands, and one of pentacles. Much of this conflict is taking place in your heart. Much of the conflict is taking place in their heart. This has less to do with actual finances or health or living situation. This has to do with can you live with the your internal sense of self? Can they live with their internal sense of self? And based off of the cards here, considering you have all three, I'm sorry, not all three, you have three out of the four court cards of the suit of cups in support of you being a good positive influence on this world, I think you're doing all right. As a quick reminder, if you have been enjoying this series where I go through these various tarot spreads, you can now leave me a tip on my Buy Me a Coffee page. If you want me to do a personal reading for you, you can also sign up for one on my personal website. You will find links to those in the description. Until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.